Hi, welcome to another video. So I'm going to be looking at activity 12A. The question says open the image snowangel.png in a suitable package, rotate the image 90 degrees clockwise. Save the image as snowangel1.png. Show evidence of the finished image, the file names and file sizes. So let me locate the snow angel from my chapter 12 um, source file. So this is it here. So I'm going to press Ctrl C to copy the image and paste it in my work folder so that I'll be able to compare the finished work. So I'm going to right click on the image once more and then open it with Jim. Minimize this and then convert. Good. So the next thing I'm going to do is to actually um, rotate the image 90 degrees clockwise. So to do this, I want to go to image from image transform and then of course rotate 90 degrees clockwise. I'm going to click that. All right. So this is the final product that we get. So the next question there. So we've rotated this. So we want to we want to save it as snow angel one dot png so we want to go to file here and file export as now i want to save it okay i'm already in, in a what uh a work folder so i want to save it as no angel one dot png okay i will export that and then of course export Right, so the next thing is so we should show evidence of the finished image, the file names and sizes. So um let me go back to the folder. I hope this is my work folder. This is my work folder. Uh this is these are the two images here. These are the two images here. So of course the sizes are here. So the finished work, the finished image is about uh, two two thousand. 350 KB, and then of course the original image is about 2360 KB, just a difference of 10 KB. All right, so this is the size, the file name here. Okay, so you can use the snapping tool to also copy the you know this screenshot the you know the the images you know to just to show your finished work. Okay, so that's about the video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hello. So let's look at activity 12B. The question says open the presentation winter.pptx in a suitable package. Crop the bottom from the image dog.png, reduce its contrast and increase its brightness, placing it to fill the slide so that it becomes a background image. Okay, so let's take it one after another. So I'm going to open the winter.pptx first of all. So let me locate it from chapter 12 in my source file folder and then look at the file here. So I'm going to double click on it to open it. Now, the next thing I want to do is to actually save this image as task activity 12 from um, activity 12b. Okay, so I'm going to browse for uh chapter 12 for uh, work folder i'm oh, sorry this is soft file i want to save it in work folder so i'm, I'm going to actually save it as uh, activity 12b okay so i'll save that before any other thing so the next thing i want to do is to look at uh, cropping the bottom from the the image dog.png. So I want to import, I want to actually insert dog.png. So let me look for it. So I've got uh, dog.png here. So I want to open it in this application. So I want to crop off the bottom. So by, by making sure that the image is selected, I'm going to crop. So I want to crop out this part, right? And then crop it out. Good. So the next question is to reduce the contrast and increase its brightness. Now to do that, I want to right click on the image and then go to format picture. And then from uh, picture here, 
the picture icon here i want to go to picture correction i'll click on picture correction and then be able to increase so let me increase the brightness of the image to 36 and then reduce the contrast to also 30 okay so let me just leave it at, leave it at 39 or something like that so i've been able to reduce the contrast a, a little bit so i increase the brightness from the question increasing i need to increase the brightness and then decrease reduce its contrast so that is what i've done here okay so the next step is to actually place placing the image to fill the slide so that it becomes a background image so what i'm going to do is actually to extend the image make sure the image is extended to fill up the whole to fill up the whole slide okay so i want to be sure that the image has filled up the whole slide so the next thing i want to do is to right click on the image and send it back all right so that of course the winter weather forces schools to close so so that every other text will show in front all right so that being done so let's look at the next step okay so find a clip art image of a of a snowman resize it to 2 cm high so another thing is to bring in snowman we want to bring in snowman so we'll go to insert again and then of course picture and then from this device so this is the picture of a snowman i click on it and then insert it here i want to reduce the height to 2 cm so i'll just go over here make the height to 2 cm then see what it becomes so it, it gets smaller so i'll place it here so uh let's see let me be sure so place it one cm from the top of the slide and one cm from the left of the slide with no border save the file as activity 12b so i've already saved the file as uh, activity 12 activity 12b and then um, i placed it already 1 cm from the top and then 1 cm from the left. So I think my job is done here. Okay, so I'm just going to save, click on save just to save my final changes. And that is it for this task. If you have any question, please leave a comment down below. Okay, and if you have any suggestion, please leave a comment down below also. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hi, so let's look at activity 12C. So the question says, open the file you saved in activity 12B. Reflect or flip horizontally the image of the snowman. Place a one point red border around this image. Okay, so let's locate the, the um, activity 12B first of all. So I'm going to go to my work folder and then open activity 12B, right? Good. Before I continue, I want to save it as activity 12c so i want to save it in my work folder so i'm going to call this activity 12c enter to save all right so the next thing i want to look at is um the question so i want to flip the image of the snowman so i'm going to just click on the snowman and then of course get to picture all right picture format here and then from rotation in the arrange group i want to click on rotation and then go to flip horizontally and of course the image is now facing the right side okay so the next question says that we should also place a one point red border around this image so there are a couple of ways you can do that so when the image is selected we can of course go to picture border here and then take red and then of course from also that same place we want to make the weight to be one point and then we can achieve that okay so there are a couple of ways we can do that so you can either right click on the image and going to format picture and obviously going to the fill and line so from line you can you can make it a solid you can make sure that solid uh, line is clicked here and then of course make it a red color and then of course make the width here to be one point right so that's another way you can do that so the other ways you can do that is also um clicking on the image and then um 
uh, going to home tab you can see that shape outline is also here so you can actually you know uh, change you know um, change the outline of the shape also and then also change the width so either way you can still achieve the same thing all right so i'm just going to leave it like this and then that answers the question so thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one bye hello so let's look at activity 12d the question says create an image advertising the tawara elephant orphanage using the images elephant jpg and text 3 the png place two copies of the elephant image like this so of course the picture uh, group these two layers add the text so that the image looks like this so we just want to achieve uh, what we have in, in the image below right so what i'm going to do is to locate the file the elephant.jpg right from the source folder here so this elephant.jpg now I'll, I'll right click on it and open with gym okay so i'm going to go to open with gym okay so it's open down here so the, the the first thing i want to do is to make the image i want to flip the image so i'm going to go to uh, image here so i want to transform it and flip it horizontally to be facing the other side uh the next thing is to scale down the layer so i want to go to the layer and then right click on the layer go to scale layer i want to re reduce the width half which is 1000 since it's 2000 pixels so i want to reduce it to 1000 pixel so it's going to look like this so i'll make sure that i click on the move tool and then move it to the right here and leave it here so i want to add the image again i want to add it as a layer okay so open image as a layer i want to actually okay so the image is selected i want to open it right again so this time around i want to just scale it right click on the layer scale it down to 1000 without flipping so i want to scale it down so i actually want to take it to the right facing the other one here right so i want to make sure that they overlap a little bit so by holding down the control key and then moving the, the mouse wheel you want to zoom in to be sure that they are all together okay so i want to move this one an inch maybe a tiny bit to the right something like that just to be sure that they overlap each other okay so now they're facing each other so the next thing i want to do is to bring bring in the text all right so i want to bring in the uh text here all right uh so i'm going to go to file again and then of course open it as a layer so it will fall in as its own layer so i want to open it good so of course the test has fallen in the way i actually want it right now um i want to actually crop the the images so that they will look like what we have in the picture because of course the background they check they check the background they're all there so i'm going to actually go to image i want to crop image to content so when i click on crop image to content so the image will fit in within the space it has without having the check uh, background right okay so so we've, we've achieved what we have in the picture here so the next thing is to save our work as activity 12d uh dot jpg right so i'll go back to gym so go to file from file export as now i want to save this in my work folder so i want to save it as uh, activity 12 activity 12d 12d.jpg so uh let me just uh, pick the file extension here file type i want to get down to jpg where is jpg right here have i passed it the jpg so that's it right there so i'll click on that and then of course i'll export I'm going to, of course, leave it as the original um, 
resolution and then I spot it that way inside. Uh, let me be sure where I saved it. It looks like I, I, let's see, okay, it's not here, so it should be within the work folder here. Where is it? So that's it here activity 12d.jpg. So I can actually open it. Let me just open it to see how it looks like. So this is the image here. So it looks pretty okay the way it is needed. All right, so I think that's about it. So is there another thing attached? Mm, not really. So that's about it. So thank you so much for this one. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.